you can actually also do certain amounts of computation in the Oracle networks themselves. And this is a more advanced functionality where if you want to keep certain information private or certain parts of the computation private, you can put it in an Oracle network. But I think the configurability of an Oracle network and the fact that it can do and, and is already doing lots of computation and going well beyond data delivery is a kind of more advanced point and feature. Because I think the the real value of Oracle networks, just you know, the real way to conceptualize them beyond these initial problems of data delivery is as a collection of decentralized services. And those decentralized services go well beyond data. So data is kind of the initial obvious critical piece of the puzzle that Oracle networks provide. But really the conception of Oracle networks that we have is one where you build what we call hybrid smart contracts where you essentially build a smart contract that is computed on chain to the degree that it needs to be computed on chain or you want to compute it on chain in regards to fees, privacy, the information that you want to share. And then there's an off-chain computation of the contract, which is often related to the data that it needs to consume, the part of the contract you want to keep private, or the part of the computation that perhaps due to scalability reasons can't be put on a, on a blockchain or can't be written in a blockchain specific language. And so I think the way to look at oracles and oracle networks and Chainlink is as a collection of services that are provided from a decentralized infrastructure that are all of the services that a blockchain cannot provide. 